we are pursuing an agenda of sustainable consumption and production uh, with the potential to transition towards a low carbon economy. We've got to then ensure that policies and strategies provide the necessary alignment to enable new, the uptake of new technologies um, as well as innovation. Um, as a result, many partnerships have developed over the years. It's no longer fully financed uh, initiatives that are on the ground. It's more um, finding the middle road between the, the developed country and developing countries in pursuing an agenda that makes um, sense globally. One of the outstanding projects that have really uh, delivered uh, through the Switch Africa Green Program and is worthy of mention is the Conservation South Africa Program. A second project worthy of mention is um, the K1 pro program, uh, looking at industrial symbiosis uh, and uh, sustainable waste management solutions. So with industrial symbiosis, it's a similar principle that's being applied where two parties are able to then benefit out of it. And usually within the waste sector, what we've seen uh, being demonstrated uh, at quite a large uh, scale is where one industry is able to use the uh, waste products of another industry as input material for the development and production of their own products. I would consider the significant change around uh, the implementation of the Switch Africa Green uh, initiatives in South Africa itself being considerable in a sense that it has partnered with many other projects as well. So it's not solely financed through the Switch Africa Green program. There are uh, instances where some of the projects have been financed through Switch Africa Green exclusively. But over and above that, we try to, as I've indicated earlier on, link the dots uh, to other initiatives so that we can have the impact at scale.